Welcome back to 10 Things. Today we are talking about the top 10 creepy creatures that might exist. Our legends and histories are filled with mysterious cryptids and terrifying beasts, some of which actually existed. But more often than not, these tales of creepy creatures are just that, tales, imagined beings meant to satisfy a story. Yet, not all far-fetched monsters are hoaxes, and there is enough evidence to suggest that they roam among us. Here are the top 10 creepy creatures that might exist. Number 10. Dobherchu. The Dobherchu is a terrifying cryptid with origins in Ireland. Also called the Waterhounder King Otter, it is a half-dog, half-fish hybrid, but is five times larger than a typical otter. It can swim and also run on land, supposedly as fast as a running horse. The Dobherchu hunts in groups or pairs and will chase its prey through water and onto land. The Dobherchu is notoriously aggressive towards humans and dogs and will kill and devour them. The popular legend of their aggression towards humans surrounds a husband and wife from the 17th century. Grace McGloiglin was washing clothes in the Glenade Luff when her husband heard her scream. By the time he got to her, it was too late, the Dobherchu stood above her mutilated body. He stabbed the creature in the heart. It made a whistling noise as it died, which alerted its mate. The second Dobherchu chased the husband down and killed him as well. Number 9. Mam Lambo. If underwater cryptids and creepy creatures cold get creepy enough, the Mam Lambo will have you covering your face every time you jump in the water. The Mam Lambo is a reptilian-like animal about 6 to 7 inch long with origins in South African and Zulu mythology. Some witnesses describe it as a giant bioluminescent snake, whereas others make it a hybrid of snake, crocodile, and horse, with four stubby legs. The Mam Lambo will attack its prey, including humans, and drag it to the Mzint Lava River's bottom in South Africa. Once drowned, it eats its victims' faces, cracks their skulls, and devours their brains. The Mam Lambo has been sighted by villagers who live near the Mzint Lava River for a long time. However, police have disputed these sightings, relating the deaths to drowning caused by the river swelling during the heavy rain season. They explain that the disfiguration of the victims' faces was merely caused by river crabs that ate away at the body's flesh over time. Still, villagers stand by their claims that the Mam Lambo exists. Number 8. Dear Women. Add Dear Women to your list of femme fatales of legend. For North American Central Plains and Woodland Native American tribes, Dear Women are mostly a benign spirit. They usually appear to women as a sign of fertility as a human, deer, or a mix of the two. Occasionally, they would appear to promiscuous men and adulterers, seducing them and then leading them to their death or everlasting lovesickness. In contemporary tales among the native tribes in Oklahoma, deer women are much more violent. These deer women appear as young women, but have hooves for feet and deer eyes. They lure men to them and then trample them to death. Some say that deer women are women who transformed after being raped or were brought back to life by an original deer woman spirit. Regardless of the deer woman's origins, there are documented sightings by an incredibly large amount of Native American tribes. Number 7. El Chupacabras. There is nothing like the classic tale of this blood-sucking, livestock-praying, reptilian creature. First spotted in Puerto Rico in 1995, the chupacabra or goatsucker preys on livestock and sucks their blood. It is as large as a small bear and has a series of spiny protrusions that run the length of its back. It stands and hops like a kangaroo and has greenish-gray leathery skin. A more normal variation of the creature looks like a wild dog. All blood-drained victims have two or three puncture wounds on the chest or neck. Since the first sighting, people have also reported having seen it in Maine, northern Mexico, Russia, and Chile. Wildlife experts and biologists refute the existence of the chupacabra. Instead, they claim that what witnesses are actually seeing are coyotes with manger Mexican hairless dogs. Still, there is a good chance that a chupacabra does exist, just not in an alien way. Footage shows a strange dog with an especially large head, believed to be a chupacabra, running down a dirt road. In 2010, a chupacabra was killed by animal control, which turned out to be a coyote dog hybrid with mange and parasites. What the witness spotted in 1995, though, was certainly no hairless dog. It was a thing of nightmares. Number 6. Black Stick Men. 
It is not Slenderman, and it's not a ghost, it's Black Stick Men. Black Stick Men are long, two-dimensional slender figures. They are abnormally tall, sometimes electrified, and cast no shadow. Black Stick Men are a fairly recent phenomenon, and plenty of sightings are confirmed hoaxes. However, one cryptozoologist named Mark Wolfgang Miller spotted six of them in Buford, Wyoming. He attempted to photograph a 12-inch tall stick man, but the creature did not clearly appear in the photo. Number 5. Fresno Nightcrawler. The Fresno Nightcrawler is a white, bipedal creature with an extremely small torso, round head, and no arms. Most of its body is its legs. People once thought that the Fresno Nightcrawler was a Native American legend, but this is untrue, meaning that we can best describe this creature as some sort of alien. First spotted in Fresno, California, on a home security camera, it's only been seen one other time, in Yosemite National Park. Number 4. Snelligaster. The name may be funny, but the creature is far from silly. Based on Germanic superstition and spotted by residents of Frederick County, Maryland, the Snelligaster is a dragon-like creature half-reptile, half-bird with razor-shark teeth. Early stories of the Snelligaster sometimes give it octopus and vampiric characteristics. In 1909, the legend became a reality. After encounters with the beast started appearing in newspapers, the creature showed up everywhere, from New Jersey to Ohio. Eyewitnesses reported that the Snelligaster had an eye in the middle of its forehead. The same year, a terrifying account of a man snatched by the Snelligaster and drained of his blood caught the attention of the Smithsonian Institute. The Institute would offer an award for anyone who could produce the hide of the animal. But the story was so terrible that President Theodore Roosevelt even considered postponing his trip to hunt it. The last account of the Snelligaster comes from Washington County, Maryland. Apparently, the beast was overcome by moonshine fumes and fell from the sky into the still. Revenue agents soon destroyed both the vat and the body of the Snelligaster. No one has seen it since. Number 3. Mogollon Monster. In 1903, I.W. Stevens encountered a humanoid creature in the Grand Canyon covered in gray hair with a beard that reached its knees. It had talons that were two inches long and was drinking the blood of two cougars. Almost 40 years later, cryptozoologist Don Davis encountered the same humanoid creature while on a Boy Scout trip. The massive beast had deep-set, expressionless eyes. This is the Mogollon monster. It walks with abnormally long strides, can imitate animal sounds, and has a terrifying scream. People still see the Mogollon monster, including several people on the Fort Apache Indian Reservation. Biologists challenge its existence despite footage and organic samples. Number 2. Mantis Man. Here is a creepy creature that is not only creepy but shy too. The Mantis Man is a 7-inch tall insect-like creature that mostly resembles a praying mantis. Definitely not a creature for the entomophobic. Both reports of its encounter state that it was wading in the Muskinetcong River in New Jersey. This is quite unlike the praying mantis we know the mantis does not spend its time near water. Between the creature's location and the fact that Earth's atmosphere can't grow a bug, that large leads people to believe that the mantis man is an aquatic animal. Either that or it could be an alien. Whatever it is, should you encounter it yourself, you won't have to worry about it attacking you. All reports claim that it runs away when you get too close. Number 1. Mothman. On a cold night in autumn in 1965, the infamous Mothman visited Point Pleasant, West Virginia. While preparing for a burial, five men saw something fly from the trees. What they saw was not a bird, but rather a terrifying humanoid. Mothman does not resemble a moth. It is about 7 inch tall with a wingspan of 10 to 15 inch long. It has two glowing red eyes in the center of its chest and shuffles like a penguin when it folds its wings. Those who look into its eyes or catch a glimpse of its face report feeling a sense of dread, psychological distress, and overwhelming evil. Some believe that Mothman warns people of impending disasters. Others think it is an angel, demon, or the result of a curse. Although people have spotted Mothman regularly since 1965, it is still largely considered a legend or the mistaken identity of a sandhill crane. <laughs>